Greetings, I'm Craig Smizer with Remax Capital City. And I'm Michael Zook with ZookEatsAustin.com. And we're downtown Austin at Holy Roller for this episode of Discover Austin Eats. Tell us why you selected Holy Roller today. Uh, you know, we've been to a lot of great places already, um, and the food at every place we've been to is fantastic, and that's no different, no different here. In fact, the chef here has won awards for best new chef in Austin, so this is definitely a hot spot for like really good food. But the idea of the whole restaurant is what makes this place so cool. It's uh, punk rock meets nostalgic Austin food and there's a little bit of religious kitschiness. You can see crosses everywhere. Behind me there's a confessional. Um, so you leave this place feeling great about what you just ordered but also it's, it's a really cool experience. Uh, you mentioned the confessional. Tell us a little story about that. Uh, so over near the restrooms there's a little confessional with some lit candles and you can write down your confessions and put them in the box, to which the kitchen staff, I think, is the only ones privy to reading those, so you're probably safe, but they go through those and then they try to make drink specials out of the most exciting confessionals. So they're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but they're best known for brunch. That's why we're here, so tell us a bit about it. Yeah, I think, like we said, the food is, is sort of Austin-based nostalgic food, so things that you're familiar with that you had growing up, and just little clever twists on all of the food. The, the chef and owner is Callie Spear, and she's been in the Austin area her whole life, and I think something that she really uh, she really liked was just nostalgia, food that, food that we all love with just little clever personal twists on them and then eventually uh, opened her own place, which is here at Holy Roller. Uh, one of the really cool things um, that's happening in food here in Austin is sort of the collaborative nature of different restaurants. And uh, one of my favorite ways that they've done that is uh, through Via 313, which we have already been. Yeah. Uh, and they did a collaboration on a pizza, which was just fantastic. So as you look around the restaurant, there's just so much neat stuff. And in fact, uh, Aaron, who's waiting on us today, said there's so many stories in here that even I don't know because there's just so much cool memorabilia and things to look at. Um, but one of the things, that, the place is centered by a really large bar. But at the same time, uh, the kitchen is tiny. So you talk about having a big bar, the restaurant's actually pretty big. We got here at 10 and at 10.10, the restaurant was full. Yeah and um, they're able to put out food consistently with that tiny kitchen to the entire Speaking restaurant. Speaking of which, oh my gosh. I'm excited, the butterscotch yes. soft serve, pancakes with fresh berries That's and soft serve, part great. of my reach. Excellent. And here we have the casbah, the chicken biscuit, side of fries, you have a little bit of syrup there to drizzle over your biscuit. Beautiful. All Enjoy. right, thank you, thank so you much, very much. Brian. So the food has arrived, and once again, I've got the uh, yellow cake pancakes with the berries and uh, the butterscotch soft serve. I too got the butterscotch soft serve. It's hard to say, uh, isn't it? It's really yeah, it's tough. Hard. Well, I'm one drink in. <laughs> uh, fried chicken sandwich, biscuit, egg, the caspa. Got some drizzling syrup as well. I'm gonna make quick use of that here in a second.
when you're downtown, Holy Roller is an excellent place to check out. Food's just incredible. It's incredible, yeah. And if you want to do Sunday morning brunch battle and then followed by a quick nap, this is the place to be. <laughs> excellent. Well, I'm Craig Smizer with Remax Capital City. And I'm Michael Zook with ZookEatsAustin.com. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Discover Austin Eats. Before we leave, I hope all of us have a confessional to go and put in the box.